these questions are personal questions. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. We are here to do another viewer Q&A. We asked our viewers uh, to ask us some questions and they asked us a lot of questions and so now we have these questions to answer and we're very thankful to everyone that asked questions. These questions are personal questions and so these are focused on family and we'll start with Patricia Russell asks do you both have siblings and Debbie Pavlock says tell us about your siblings. I have a brother and a sister they're both younger than I am uh, my brother is the oldest after me and after him is my sister she's the youngest and they both live where we're from in uh, buffalo new york so sister appeared in one of our videos and i will link that video uh in the description of this video i i think it's called it's not all fun and games but i'm not sure i think but you're right so sister might. rose was in one of our videos and so you can see her there as for me i uh, uh i'm an only child no i'm only kidding <laughs> <laughs> no uh as for me i have a brother he is nine years older than me and his name is larry and he lives in massachusetts and he's married and he has two kids grown children and uh he's with his wife in massachusetts and that was the house that we went and stayed at and we watched their house last summer in uh, massachusetts and you can see that in a few of our videos you can see when we were there uh, one is uh, we got an unforeseen invitation and another was having doubts about RV living. Another one was five cats instead of three. And uh, I think there was another one in there. So I'll have to link the videos below if you want to see those videos. Uh, but my brother, he's uh, nine years older than me. There is a picture of him in one of our videos. Uh, Oh, it would be our wedding anniversary video. I showed some pictures from our wedding and that would be whatever video was out on August 26th, 2018. So if you go look at that, you can, I, I can link that below also. I'll link that video, but at, uh, there's some wedding pictures in there and uh, so you can see that. Another question is from Aussie Lady Helen. And the question is, do you visit your parents? And I will start and say that I do not visit my parents. Both of my parents have, have gone on to be with the Lord. My dad passed away in 1992 and he was 64 at the time. He was very young. And then my mom passed away in 2005, which was about a year and a half after Sal and I started dating. And so, uh, I don't have parents to visit and I did visit my brother last summer and so I I visit my mom uh, we we visited her last summer we actually stayed at her house for a little bit in her driveway and yeah I, I really miss my mom and it was nice seeing her last year as for my dad he passed away in 2014 and I really miss I really miss him a lot um, I think I really miss him a lot I think I've actually on, on some of these videos that we've made some of the earlier ones I've actually stated I've talked about that and I had a problem getting over that even all these years later but it's it's something that I went through and Luckily, I have Sharon to talk to me about it, and so, but yeah, that's basically, I, I visit my mom, and it's nice going over there and spending some time with her after I've been away from her so for so long and not seeing her. And he did go visit his dad last year, and mm. that video is called A Solemn Day. A Solemn and Day. And I, I did visit my mom that day also. Right. I don't think I visited my dad because I was short on time. Um, my parents aren't together, so 
<laughs> They're in different spots. I mean, they spots. were together. They, they were, were married. together. They were married until, you know, my dad passed away, but... And my mom never remarried or anything, but they just ended up in uh, separate places. So uh, my dad is buried with my, my mother's father, and my mother is buried with her mother in a mausoleum. They had separate, uh, somehow that's how it ended up. They had uh, openings, and that's where they ended up. So, so also Sherry Duchesne asked, do you have family? If you do, how do you not miss them? Okay, uh, we did answer about family. As far as how do you not miss them, uh, my parents are gone, so I don't miss them. And my brother has lived out of state for most of my life. He moved out of state when I was 12, so uh, most of my life he's been out of state, so I guess I'm used to him being away. And I you should only see him a couple of times a year so that's my answer and Sal for you uh, how do you not miss your family oh I miss them I, I, I miss my brother I miss my sister and I miss my mom but I, I comfort myself knowing that I'll see them again and I definitely miss my dad you know even though he's not here in his present life right now I, I, I miss him a lot and I know someday I'll, I'll be together with him again too, along with Sharon's mom and Sharon's dad too. We'll all be together again someday. One thing that Sal has done that has helped to not miss his family as much is uh, generally in in the Italian tradition, or maybe it's Sicilian. Um, I think everybody tends to call at least one of their parents every day mm -hmm. and when Sal's dad was alive they used to call Sal's dad I used to call him I used to call him once a day once every a day. day yeah every day and then after his dad passed away everybody started calling their mom once a day and right. so then when Sal was leaving when we left I suggested maybe you should try calling your mom twice a day it might help both of you because you you're, you know being apart right so i do that now i call her twice a day and i think she likes that i think she really enjoys hearing from me twice a day and i, I like talking to her it, it makes it seem like we're, we're close by so, so that's it helps, nice. you? it helps me and i think it helps her and that's that's really nice how that works and another thing that sal did with his siblings was to do uh messenger chats uh live like uh, video chats right. and so that did that used to help you that helps too yes that helps a lot so that's a really nice thing you can do because it, it, it makes you feel like you're there with the person like you're still with the person and it's it's like you're just right with them I mean I've done that with people that I met online and I didn't really know and we had video chats and and it's like you're right there with them right and yeah. we've done that with our neighbors too uh, one New Year, we did a video chat with them, and we got to talk with them, and that was a lot of fun. It, it was. was. Like, it was like being yeah, with it them. It was like being with them again, yeah. So, okay, well, thank you to Patricia Russell and to Debbie Pavlock. Thank you to Aussie Lady Helen, and thank you to Sherry Duchesne. Thank you all for the questions, thank and you. thank you all for watching today. Thank you, everybody. Patricia Russell asks, do you both have siblings? And Debbie Pavlock says, tell us about your siblings. We don't have any siblings. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we do have Sorry, siblings. I, I, thought, I thought they were asking if we had any kids. Siblings, yes. I have a, a brother and a sister. And they're both younger than I am. about your siblings oh my brother we just completed grocery shopping I got my donut my mom got what she wanted to get so I think everybody's happy you happy ma yeah I'm happy okay 
Let's see you later. This is my sister Rose. Hi. She's visiting us while we're staying here at my mom's house. So I just wanted to introduce her to everybody. And um, so, yeah, that's part of my family. Make sure you subscribe. Get all your friends to subscribe. What's the name of our channel? s and and the RV Cats. You got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone. Bye. below and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching